This video is sponsored by Competitive Cyclist. Did you know that each year, millions of miles of trail are left untouched because thousands of people out there don't have the appropriate tools or gear to get them out there shredding to the best of their ability? Hi, I'm Dustin Klein. You may recognize me from such videos as $600 Gravel Bike and the DCO Shakedown. And I'm here to let you know that you don't have to put up with derfy, crappy gear any longer. By the blessings of the great trails, Competitive Cyclist has heard our cries and taken it upon themselves to answer that calling by supplying us with the greatest cycling gear we could ever imagine needing. From tires and helmets to bleed kits and bicycles. Things like this PNW 27-2 dropper post, which can convert any appropriate gravel bike into a fully capable single track gravel stallion. So if you're ready to take your ride capabilities to the next level, head over to competitivecyclist.com and use offer code DUSTIN15 for 15% off your first order. Some restrictions may apply. Because I want to make sure that you are shredding to your fullest potential. Summer's here. And, oh, what the hell am I trying to say? Today's supposed to be around 90 to 100 degrees, which is fortuitous because this is the day that I decided to ride to the coast. 60% dirt, 30% known, 40% paved, 70% unknown, 25% variability. Seems pretty straightforward, right? What could possibly go wrong? Decided to take the bomb track. There's a decent amount of chunk on this ride, and this bike is still new to me, so A plus B equals obvious. <laughs> on the banks for Nonia, 12 or 13 mile epic trail that goes through Stub Stewart State Park. 20 miles in. 80 miles to go. Good question. Why did I wear what I did today? Went with the skin long sleeve and leg skins opposed to leg warmers. So they're all just thin Lycra. This way I don't have to carry extra sunblock and I know I'm protected by the sun. I always run over shorts. He keeps talking about over shorts. Handkerchief, gravel roads, dusty cars, snot, sweat, etc. etc. Does anyone even give a shit about this stuff? Pata, pata, el dinero que da. The people are swinging and rubber money. So everybody start to shake as soon as pata, 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 and play. You gotta earn this secret passageway. Yo, that cutty little route is so on point. Good looking out, Ryan Frasconi. 12% gravel climbs. Oh my God. Man. There's one thing I know about gravel. When it's dry, it's loose, and when it's wet, it's sticky. And today, it's dry. Here's some more cutty road dips. Hey man, this is how it works. 
It's a hundred degree day. You gotta ride a hundred miles. I don't care if it's on dirt, pavement, water, asphalt, cement. It's a hundred degrees. That's when you wanna go hundred miles. You gotta just keep the tip to the tap. Holy crap, no joke. 91 degrees, 53 miles, 5,100 feet of elevation, four hours and 40 minutes rolling time. Uh, I don't know, this is a fucking... Uh, uh. This heat, man. Ooh. Here's the turn. Right on the middle of Highway 26, fresh spring water that just dumps out constantly. There's one on either side of the freeway. So it's uh, perfect for today because I need as much water as I can get. Burrito number two. I don't care if it's hot. Uh... Home stretch now. It's nice to be on something smooth for a change. Holy shit, I made it. And the ride, by the numbers, eight hours and 30 minutes, 102 miles, and 8,460 feet of elevation. I'm glad this thing is done. That ride happened two years ago, and I'm still suffering PTSD from that thing. We got a quick International Players Club Steel is Real level shout out going out to the truest of true players, Milan B. What up, Milan? <laughs> we just fracked him out. I respect the hell out of you. Oh, and I just want to point out that I finally made a sheet of DCO, Disruptive Commotion Overlay, camo pattern pieces that work to cover your bike up. If you want to make your bike DCO camo bike or anything for that matter, this is what you want. It's a sheet, it has 10 plotter cut shapes. They're on clear vinyl, so they work on any color. There's a little extra bonus things on there. I suggest three for a complete frame. Finally, I did it. You asked and I delivered. So if you're into those, those are right here. And if you want to see this exact same route done on the shortest day of the year in the winter with Ryan Francisconi and David Wilcox, well, look no further.